hello and welcome to my channel distinctively handcrafted my name is priscilla and i would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all my return subscribers for spending some time with me and if, if this is your very first time checking out my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the like button and if you hit that notification bell you will be notified each and every time i upload a new video i would greatly appreciate you joining the distinctive family over here all right, everyone, so I do have a little bit of a different video for you today. I am talking about my entire Bath & Body Works collection that I have accumulated over just one year. And I started this collection when I saw uh, Ari, of all things Ari. I will link her channel down below. She is awesome. She does a lot about perfumes and um, hauls and Bath and Body Works, um, body mist and how to get the best out of, um, what you have in your collection to make, um, your perfumes and body mist work for you and last. All right. So, um, shout out to Ari from All Things Ari. Please go check her out if you haven't already. So I saw her post, um, some videos about a very good, good sale um, from Bath and Body Works, and that is the semi-annual sale, also known as SAS or SAS, and um, the uh, that is when Bath and Body Works marks down their um, items up to seventy-five percent. A lot of them are just fifty percent, but there are some that are seventy-five percent. And when I saw the when she was talking about the prices she paid, I was like, "That's my kind of deal." <laughs> so I was kind of hooked from there. And I am talking about this now because um, the SASL is coming up very, very soon, and I am very, very excited to take part in it. Um, actually, in store. So I hope I'll be able to come by and share with you guys. Um, maybe some footage from in store. I'm not for sure because this is my first time, so I don't know how crowded it will be, but I do hope to share with you, um, some footage of that as well as my haul, because I'm definitely going to have one or two <laughs> anyway. Um, so I want to go through and share with you all what I have collected so far, the things I like, um, don't like, and, um, my top, uh, 28 and I know it's exactly 28 because I actually have filmed this part of the video already but somehow it got erased and I so now I have to refilm it so if the video does seem a little off um, towards the end of the video <laughs> that is probably why I may mention things in the end part that I didn't mention in the beginning part because I'm not for sure exactly what I said at the end but I do know that I am talking about um my top 28 so that is a lot <laughs> but those are like um my favorites and some of those could be interchanged um in the places but uh like my top tops are you know like my real really 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 favorites that i don't want to be without so that'll be coming towards the end of the video and what i have for you right now are the ones that i would like to see leave out of my collection so please don't be offended if I say that I don't like something that you may love because everybody's nose is different and um, sometimes different notes or scents that come from a particular body mist smells really great on someone but really bad on someone else. <laughs> so um, this one here is Beautiful Day and this one is Gingham Fresh. They both have a daisy note in there and I think that the daisy kind of goes sour on me and I don't really like... Um, the smell of it so i am working with those trying to use them up as best i can this one i have found a few things that i like um that takes away that sour note so i've been really trying to get it out of my collection before um sas i don't know if it's going to happen because it's coming up very soon but at least it's down um to a manageable level and i can just use it up and then i won't repurchase that um this one i actually the hello beautiful i actually sprayed it in store and i actually liked it but when i wear it 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 yeah it dries down to like a hairspray kind of scent and i'm not really um fond of that so i'm definitely going to be using this up and trying to get it out of my collection as well i know this one is like a fan favorite <laughs> but I, i'm not for sure it's the if it's the batch or what but 
when I first got it, it smelled, it had a really heavy plasticky smell. And so I was um, not really happy with that. But I do know if you let the body mist um, sit, sometimes they do sweeten up. Um, Ari had mentioned that to me. So I decided to go ahead and hang on to it instead of returning it. But I have also noticed that um, myself as I have um, gotten a couple that I didn't like on first spray. But after letting it sit for a little while, it did get better. This one, for me, I still haven't um, seen it get better yet. I, all of this is just trying to spray and see if it's ready yet. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and let it sit until um, the winter season and then give it a good try. And then maybe I can come back and let you guys know. But um, So these uh, first four are ones that I really want to get rid of um, first, quickly. <laughs> and then I most likely will not. I won't repurchase any of these unless um, maybe if they have a new formula of this one, I could definitely try it again. But the rest of these, I don't think a new formula would help. I just don't like them. All right. So now I'm going to pause and bring in some more of the ones that I like. All right. And I made it back. So this first one here is called Ballet Nights. This one has an amber note in it. And the way the amber is blended or maybe not blended well enough, it does stand out a little bit. And um, because of that, I, I probably won't repurchase this one. I do like it though. Um, so I'm definitely going to use it and enjoy it. I'm not going to try to hurry up and get rid of it. I do like it every once in a while, but the way that Amber sits on this one, I don't particularly like it, but, um, there are a lot of these that have Amber in them that I do enjoy. So it's just probably the way that it's blended. I'm definitely, um, willing to purchase more um mists that have amber in them because it does help the uh mist to last longer but for this one i think it's more um sophisticated and grown up and um i just don't think it's a good fit for me but i am going to enjoy that one this one is um pretty nice it's kind of earthy <laughs> it's called wild sand so it is kind of earthy and um it does have a pear note in it so i do like it um but I most likely won't repurchase that one. This one is carried away. This one has like a berry um, vanilla kind of smell. But the berry can go a little sour sometimes. So I am enjoying and using this one. But I won't repurchase it. Uh, this one is Twilight Woods. Um, I'm not for sure. But like when it dries, if it has like a, a soapy kind of note to it. Um, I don't, I'm not for sure if I'm describing it right, but I like it, but won't repurchase. <laughs> uh, In the Stars is really nice. A lot of people like this one, but um, it's just not something that I like gravitate towards. I mean, you know, having like this big of a, of a selection has definitely helped me to figure out what I like and what I don't like. So I am going to enjoy this one. I like this one um, best with Into the Night. And that is a really nice combo. But um, so I'll probably enjoy it like that, but I won't repurchase this one. Uh, this one is Lost in Centel. I passed on it at first and then I heard a lot of people saying how nice it was. And I was like, well, maybe I need to just um, smell it again because when I went into the store to smell it, it was kind of crowded and a lot was going on. So I was like, let me give it another try. And I tried it out again. It was much lighter than when I what I remember so I did go ahead and purchase it and I have um tried it with a couple things uh tropidelic and most recently the snowflakes and cashmere um I have that one right here and actually that was really really nice so I'm definitely going to enjoy it while I have it but I won't re repurchase this one I mean I may or may not it depends like I have a lot to get through so as I go on I might change my mind about that one but um yeah it's not it's not one of my top favorites <laughs> we'll just say it like that uh this next one is snowflakes and cashmere and i knew this was like a lighter scent and i just wanted to put them together to bring in a little bit of sweetness at first this one i wasn't getting the sweetness and this is a good example of how if you let them sit they do get a little sweeter um so this one has like a vanilla and cash um uh, vanilla and caramel note in it 
and I wasn't really getting the caramel notes. And so I wasn't really liking this one at first, but I did let it sit. And then when I tried it with this, it really, it, I noticed that it had sweetened up quite a bit. And now I really like this one. So I probably would um, repurchase this one if I needed it. I don't think I would have it as a backup, but if I needed another one and it was available, I would definitely um, pick one up. This one is Ruby Watermelon and I used it quite a bit uh, last summer. I really enjoyed it last summer. Um, like I said, there are so many scents out now, so I probably am definitely going to enjoy this one, but I'm not, I don't think I would repurchase um, another one of these. They do have some other watermelon scents, so I want to try those and see if I like those uh, better. And this next one is um, Thailand Sweet Kiwi and Starfruit. This one is another one that I wasn't really... I, I'm getting sweet from it, but I can't really s smell the kiwi exactly. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy this one, but I'm not for sure if I repurchase it. Um, this one is Waikiki Beach Coconut. I really enjoyed this one last year. This is a really nice coconut scent. And um, there is a coconut that I do like better, which is the Cocoa Paradise. So um, I might repurchase this one, but I, I'm i not for sure. I think I, I would just rather have the Cocoa Paradise. But it all depends <laughs> on what's available. Like, for example, if Cocoa Paradise wasn't available, but this one was and I needed one, then I would definitely pick that up. All right, so the next one I have here is Poppy. And this is kind of a um, like a pear scent. And this is one that I would put with that um, gingham fresh back there. And it does help to take away the sour note. Uh, but this one is a real pretty pear scent. But I there is another pear scent that I like better. So I would, um, I'm definitely going to enjoy that one, but I might not repurchase it. All right, let me grab some more and then I'll be right back. All right, so this next one is Plumeria, and excuse the look of the bottle. <laughs> what happened was the sprayer broke, and so I had my husband open it up, and then I just poured it out into a different um, sprayer that I had um, sitting around. And yes, this one is really, really pretty. It does have a very um, long-lasting scent, but it doesn't really like um, go with much. It kind of just it stands out on its own. I did find something that I really like with this, and I talk about it in the second part of the video, so I am going to leave it for that. But um, yes, I do really like it, but I'm not for sure if I will repurchase it again. I would just have to wait and see once I get through what I have left because um, it's, it's, a, it's really pretty and it's nice and I like it, but I, there's just so many more that I have come to like that I'm not for sure if that is something that I would um, want to keep around. So I'll talk more about that in the other part of the video. All right, so this one is Fresh Cut Lilacs, and this is like one of the first ones I purchased. And I wasn't for sure like how it would smell because I ordered it online, but I do like the smell of lilacs. And this is very, very pretty. However, it is not like a perfume that I would want to wear or a body mist that I would want to wear. It is a fantastic room spray. So I am definitely going to enjoy this one as a room spray. I really like the scent um, in the air, but not on me. But I do really like this one. I would even repurchase this one as a room spray because um, their room sprays are kind of small. They are, they are long lasting, but they are very small and expensive. So if I could get this on a sale as a room spray, that would be great. It's very fresh, clean, and it does last a long, um, the scent does last a long time after you spray it on this one. All right, so the Fiji Sunshine Guavatini, I really, um, this one is some, is one that is getting sweeter. It was, um, it wasn't as sweet when I first got it, so I would have to see if I needed one. I don't think I would, like, have to have a backup, but if it was, if I was out and they had it available to purchase at a good price then i might pick that one up again all right so this is the lavender this is one of the newer ones and i really do like the smell of lavender and this one just has the lavender jasmine and vanilla and it is very very pretty i like this one at night because it is really nice calming and soothing so i don't think i need a backup but if they if i'm out of it and they have it available i would pick it up again 
Um, this is another one, Meet Me in Miami, that had gotten a little bit sweeter. When I first got it, it wasn't as coconutty as I thought it might be. And it doesn't say coconut, but it does say um, colada. And we know that there's like a um, coconut in a colada. So I was definitely expecting coconut out of this. Um, but it has gotten a lot sweeter and I am really enjoying this one. I don't think that, um, I would repurchase it again because I do like the Cocoa Paradise. Um, but if I had room, um, in my collection and this was available, I would definitely consider getting it again because I do like it. All right. The next one is the Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This one was another one that was not, um, like define like I was not getting pineapple at all when I first got it it was just sweet and so I let it sit and now I am getting everything I am getting that um, sweetness and the pineapple and this is really good I would definitely uh, repurchase that one um, the next one is midnight blue citrus this has like a um, citrus scent but it also has like a what like the drop after I spray it, what I get is like a really light mango scent. So I enjoy that. And um, if I ran out of this one, I would consider repurchasing. This next one is Forever Sunshine. Um, I go back and forth on this one. I like it, but then there's something about it that, um, I don't know, that makes me wonder, like, do I want this? Do I want this back in my collection again? But I do like it with um this one i do like it together with this and then even i have a perfume that i put along with that one that has peony in it because this has a um, peony note and it does work well together so i really like that um together and even um if you put in gingham gorgeous because that also has peonies with the three of those <laughs> that's a really good one as well so i do like it but i'm just not for sure if I need it, but I am going to enjoy it while I have it. <laughs> All right, so this next one is white citrus, and mostly I like putting this with other things. I don't always wear this on its own, but it is um, a nice citrus scent, and it does um, last a while, so I do like it. So I would consider repurchasing this one. All right, so let me go ahead and bring in uh, the last little bit, which are my minis. And I also have uh, one of these uh, aromatherapies. I really like this one. I would definitely consider getting like the whole um, line that they have of the orange ginger. It I've been looking for a nice ginger scent, um, and this this is really nice. It's it's what it says, orange and ginger. <laughs> so I really like it, and um, I'm definitely going to keep that one around. Uh, this one is strawberry pound cake. This is another one that I wasn't too sure about at first, but I do like it with uh, Together Weather. That is really, really nice. And I'm, I'm not for sure if I need a full bottle of it because I don't use it as much, but... Um, I would definitely consider repurchasing this one when I run out. Uh, the next one is Frosted Coconut Snowball. Uh, I do like this one and I'm going to enjoy it, but I think the Cocoa Paradise is my favorite. So I don't, I'm not for sure if I would repurchase that one. And the Tropidelic is, um, I actually passed on the Tropidelic at first, on the first, when I first tried it in the store, I didn't really like it at all. But I was sent a coupon in the mail and they gave me um, a coupon for a free mini. And it did have the picture of Tropidelic on there. So I was like, you know what? That is my um, cue to go ahead and try it out in the mini. So I went in and picked it up and I have been using it. And it does seem a little sweeter to me um, than in the store. It, it's, it, it's definitely different from other things um, that I've tried before. So I do think there is space in my collection for one of these. And I, if it's on a good sale, I may consider getting the full bottle. Um, but yes, I, I do like it. Um, I, do, I do like it now. So I'll definitely consider 
um, getting that full size bottle. All right, everyone. So that is um, what I have for this first part of the video. I'm going to go ahead and put in the second part of the video, which was already pre recorded. Um, like I said, I did this one, but it got lost. So hopefully I don't overlap in what I'm talking about and hopefully it still makes sense, <laughs> but I'll do my best job in the editing. All right, everyone. So now I'm going to pass you over to the next part of the video. All right, everyone. So I am back and I have, so the, these are the rest, um, of what I have. And these are, I, I believe it's 28 of them. So I guess I'm going to do my top 28 and I'm putting them in order as best as I can I really like them all and some of these could be um you know pretty much on the same amount of how I like them like my top 10 are probably um you know the ones I really really like the best but yeah these last 28 are really really good so if you do see them I would definitely recommend trying them out and see what you think all right, so this first one, I wasn't able to get a body mist. It is the sweater weather, so I would really like to get this in a body mist. This one has a uh, sun crisp apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. So it's very, very clean, um, fresh smell. It's I don't know how to describe it really, but it's really, really good. And um, I've only used it a couple times, but I definitely would like to get a body mist in this one here. All right, so that's number 28, and that's only because I don't have the body mist. And this is also number 27, only because I don't have the body mist. But I'm pretty sure this will be higher up. And this one is the Dream Bright, and it has the um, Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming, Orchid, and Crystallized Vanilla. All right, so the next one is Leaves. Now, this one I actually did buy a backup for, but I have used quite a bit of this one over the winter. And so I definitely thought that I should get a backup because I didn't want to run out. I don't. It's okay on its own, but that's not really why I um, bought the backup. So it has crisp apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. I actually found this um, body ecology at Ollie's for $1.99, really close to when I had ordered this. And I actually picked this up before even smelling this one here. And this one has, um, what does it have in it? Um, let me see. Okay, it says fresh apples and mold spices. So I was actually wearing this one when I got this one in the mail. And then I sprayed this one on top of that. And it smells so good together. <laughs> So the next time it had went on sale, I decided to go ahead and get it back up because I really enjoyed that um, layering combo. All right, so the next one is um, Musk, and this is um, pretty new. I don't like this on its own, but it goes with so many things that I have. So this is like a must-have for layering. It has the Musk, Mimosa Flower, and Rice Milk. It's kind of creamy. And it's really hard to describe. You would definitely have to smell it for yourself. Not everybody is going to like this one. But I, I, like I said, I don't really like it with it being on its own. But um, Viva Vanilla is one of the new ones out. And it goes so well with this. And there is a lot of others. Like I've already used, you can't really tell, but I've already used quite a bit of it. Um, pairing it with other things. All right. So the next one is Chasing Fireflies. And this one has... Golden Pear, Jasmine Blooms, and Illuminated Woods. This is another really good pear um, fragrance, but it is like it is more like a fragrance to me than um, a body mist because it does last pretty long. So I really like that one. The next one is Into the Night, and I'm sorry I lost order of these. So that was probably 27, 26, 25, 24, 23 is Into the Night. And that has raspberry, noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. So this one is very, very, um, this one is like a perfume also, but it's very, it's like rich. It's like um, more of a grown-up scent. I wouldn't um, buy this for a younger person, maybe. Um, yeah, but this is, this is very, very, very pretty, and um, I definitely like having this in my collection so the next one is 
I lost count again. I'm sorry, everyone. Just know that these are like my top 28. <laughs> the next one is um, the Sunwise Citrus. It has sugared lemons, mandarin, and agave nectar. I really do like citrus scents, and this one is very, um, it's kind of sweet and citrusy, so it's really, really nice. The next one is Sweetheart Cherry. And it has the wild cherry, crushed pistachio, and whipped vanilla. I really, really enjoy this one. This one is actually pretty um, long-lasting. It's longer-lasting than some of the other um, mists, so it's really, really nice. Uh, this one is peach bellini, and I like this one a lot because I like to put it with the warm sugar vanilla, and it's kind of like peaches and cream, so it is really, really nice. And this has uh, succulent peach, sparkling, prosecco, and sweet orange. The orange does kind of stand out on this one, but you still do get uh, the peach as well. The next one is a new one. This is the Pink Obsessed. And this has um, Blushing Jasmine, Cashmere Praline, and Vanilla Bourbon. I like this one, but I can't find anything to go with it. So I just, um, when I do wear it, it's usually on its own. And I haven't um, actually worn it much. A lot of that is just trying to trying it with other things <laughs> that's how I've been using it I'm just like does it work with this but um I do really like this one but um I'm not for sure I, like I've only like been wearing it on its own so it is it is very pretty though all right so I'm going to go ahead and move these to the back and bring in my next uh 10 all right everyone so the next um uh, this is the next group of 10 that I have here and this one is the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. This was actually one of the first ones I purchased as well. And I did really enjoy this last summer. And this has passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. It's um, not banana at all, but it is very, very sweet. You get mostly the passion fruit and the pineapple. And um, I like this one all on its own. It's very, very sweet and pretty and great for summer. I did go ahead and get a backup of the new packaging um just so i would be ready for the summer but i do really enjoy that one and the next one is newer this is the apple it has uh apple strawberry and rain it's really fresh and um it goes great with a lot of different things so that is why it's in my top because i do use it for putting with other scents this next one is um, one of the newer ones. It's If You Musk. I passed on this at first. When I first smelled it in store, it kind of reminded me of when I used when my mom used to get those little uh, sample lipsticks in the mail. And I would open it up and smell it and just play around with those. It smells just like those lipsticks. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, do I really want to smell like lipstick? But this scent is is really really weird because like when you first spray it it does have like a little bit of a lipstick scent but then it does get like a little bit sweeter and then when it dries down it almost smells like the new clothes scent like if you ever purchase new clothes and you bring them home and then you like smell them you can like smell it just smells like new clothes so i you know like how a new car has a new car scent well this <laughs> This to me smells like a new clothes scent and it's it's really weird, but I like that. It's so weird. So this one has iris, pink pepper, and airy musk. I would definitely, um, if this was on a decent sale, like $5.95 or something like that, I would definitely get a backup of this one because it is, it's really weird, but I like it. <laughs> so that is If You Must. And then the next one is Petal Parade. This one is very, very pretty. This one is really, really pretty. And um, this has uh, Neroli Petals, Orange Flower, and White Woods. It kind of, um, it does actually smell like some of the um, more expensive perfumes that they were going for, that they were targeting. It does really smell like those. And um, I really, really like it. I have, um, to me, I have a... Um, a Middle Eastern perfume called Leone. It was formerly known as Libra. So I don't know if any of you might know that particular one, but this smells a lot like that. <laughs> but it is really, really pretty and I like that. All right, so the next one is Bourbon Strawberry Vanilla. And this one is 
bourbon, vanilla, garden strawberry, apricot nectar, and pink jasmine. Pink jasmine and white oak. So this one is very, very pretty to me. Um, I can wear this alone or um, I do like it with um, gingham gorgeous. It's very, very pretty and um, a really good scent for the summertime. As you can see, I've already been enjoying it. <laughs> So I did actually buy two of them. When I smelled that in store, I really, really was like, I need another one. So the next one is Pure Wonder. This one is good all by itself. It is very, very pretty. It has ice rosé, star jasmine, warm white amber. It's very clean, um, fresh, sweet smell. So it's very, very pretty. And I just really, really enjoy that one. I haven't been um, wearing it as much, but I do really, really like this one. Okay, so next up we have Ice Lemon Pound Cake. Um, to me, when I first sprayed it in the store, it smelled like buttered popcorn. So I almost passed on it, but I was like, no, I'm going to get it. And when I brought it home and I let it sit for a little while, I it did really change. And it started getting very, very sweet. And I got the, um, the actual lemon pound cake it's supposed to smell like. So it's sugary glaze, icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake. So I really want um, a body lotion to go with this one so that I can really get the maximum scent out of this and I know I'm going to really enjoy that for the summer <laughs> the next one is Viva Vanilla I had mentioned this before I do like mixing this with other ones this is like a, a vanilla perfume it lasts all day and it is really really good it's more of a grown-up vanilla it's not like a gourmand vanilla at all but it has rich plum, glowing amber, and addictive vanilla. It's it's different. You would definitely have to smell this one and see if you like it. But it does. It's very long lasting, and I really like that. So I definitely want to get a backup of that one as well. All right. So this next one is from their Bridgerton collection, and it's called Diamond of the Season. I had no idea like what to think of this. Um. I just, it seemed like they should have came up with, I have never seen this show before, so I hope, <laughs> please don't uh shake your head at me, but I have never seen this show, so I'm not for sure what, you know, the name, if the name has anything to do with the show itself, but I feel like they could have named it something different to give the people idea of what it smells like, but it smells like, um it has sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. I don't know if you've ever heard of this before, but it's called, it was a candy that I had growing up called Jungle Jollies, and it was like a taffy, um, and it would, they came in all different flavors, but this specifically smells like the peach flavored Jungle Jolly. So if you ever had that, <laughs> this smells exactly like that. It is very, very sweet and really nice, um. I like it. Like at first I was like, hmm, I'm not for sure if I like this or not, but I have been wearing this a lot and I really, really like it. So um, I definitely would like to get another one of these because it does say limited. Um, it's like a limited collection. So I'm not for sure how long this is going to be around. So I would like to get another one of those if it goes on sale. <laughs> All right. So the next one is Endless Weekend. This one is really like a clean, um, bright scent to it. Uh, aquatic I guess you would say it's summer mandarin blue coconut water vanilla sandalwood this I can wear all on its own it it does last pretty long and it just it I don't know it has its own kind of scent profile and it's really really good so I like this one I'd like to get a backup of that one as well all right so now we're getting into like my top eight so I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out and um, bring in my top eight all right, everyone, we are to my top eight. So if you have made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Please go ahead and take a minute out to hit that like button as well as subscribe if you haven't already. I would really enjoy having you a part of this distinctive family over here. All right. So coming in at number eight is Fairy Tale. This one is another one that is like a perfume. It's very, very pretty. It lasts very, um, it lasts a nice while so it has pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom vanilla bean and warm amber so that is very nice i like to get a backup of that one now this one i do have a backup of and this one is almost gone um it's hard to tell but it's very light <laughs> so i'm glad that i have a backup of this one this is the warm vanilla sugar intoxicating vanilla 
white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. So it's very, very um, pretty on its own, but I do like to mix it with other things like that um, peach bellini for like a peaches and cream um, type thing, or even the sun wash citrus for like an orange creamsicle is really, really nice. All right, so the next one is the old cherry. This one you can wear on its own. It is very long lasting and it smells really, really nice. It's more of a grown up cherry than the other sweetheart cherry. So if you don't have um, this one, but you have the other one, it's not, um, it's definitely worth getting this one in your collection. Like you won't feel like you have um, the same thing if you get this one too. So I would definitely recommend this one. I'd like a backup of this one for sure. And it has the, um, I can't see that. It says black cherry. Okay, black cherry, sheer magnolia, and tonka bean. So very, very pretty. And that is, so this one was eight, seven, six. Here's number five. This one is dressed in white. This is my favorite pear scent ever that I have smelled. And I have had quite a few of these that had pear in them. So this one is my absolute favorite. It has pear blossoms, ivory, gardenia, and satin woods. I like to go ahead and get another one of this. Um, this one is very clean, very pretty. Uh, it lasts a while and it's just a really nice pear fragrance. It doesn't go sour. So that is why I really like this one. Very clean, very fresh, very pretty. So I definitely would like another one of those. And that was number five. So coming in number four is Coco Paradise. Um, I really like coconut scents. And this one is my absolute favorite. This is salted uh, coconut manoi, sugar, neroli, and brine sandalwood. Um, this is probably the only coconut scent I would need in my collection because this is so pretty. And this is exactly what I'm looking for in a coconut fragrance. All right. So the next one is Together Weather. This is another one of those kind of scents that I, I wasn't sure about but the more I got to use it and wear it I really really enjoyed it as you can see it's almost almost gone it's about halfway gone <laughs> and um this one has the blushing breeze sugar cardamom and soft cedar so this is what I was thinking the other one the lost in Santel, would kind of be similar to but the lost in Santel does not have like any it's not very sweet at all this one is very very sweet and so that's what kind of uh, threw me off on that. But this one I really enjoy. Um, it's good all on its own. It definitely will last you all day. Um, but I did mention that I used it with the strawberry pound cake. And that was a fabulous combination. All right. So number two. <laughs> number two is Gingham Gorgeous. This one is so pretty. And it lasts a long time. It has um, pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blooms. I do believe they're coming out with a fragrance, perfume fragrance for this. So if it goes on a decent sale, I probably would pick that up as well. But I really, really like this one. Um, there are a few other mists that I have that I put with this. Um, All right. I'm sorry, everyone. But I did want to mention that Dahlia is number one my camera cut off on me again I had already put everything away so um I do have this picture here and Dahlia has notes of velvet Dahlia petals crisp pear praline musk and whipped tonka bean it's very very pretty um you do get the pear but it's like the just the blend of it all together just makes it really really um pretty and it's it's really like a perfume so that is why it's my number one i do get the pair but i don't wear it because it's pear i just really like the mix and the balance that it has and i definitely enjoy this one i'm about halfway through my first bottle but i did purchase two backups oops <laughs> but i'm not worried about it because it is my favorite and i know i'll definitely um use it up for sure all right so that is my top 28 and uh, I think I had a couple more videos because I was cut off again. So I think I had a couple more videos to add on to this. And then that will be all. All right, here's the next part. All right, everyone, I apologize, but my video cut out on me. So I'm not for sure where I left off, but I did. I forgot to mention that I wanted to sh share about um, the plumeria. So I, as I was saying, I couldn't find anything to go with it until I got this um, Bridgerton here. So they both uh, share a peach note and it 
they really work well together. This, you don't need any perfume at all. That together will last you all day. And it is just really, really sweet and pretty at the same time. And um, just for that, I might have to get another plumeria. But uh, yes, that is a really, really pretty combo. I do have about half um, of the plumeria. Oops, half of it left. It's just in a different bottle. <laughs> I have about half of it left. So I definitely plan on using this with that until it is gone but that is pretty much um my entire bath and body works collection that i have accumulated over one year span right now i'm getting ready to prepare for the semi-annual sale from bath and body works so i'm very excited about that please let me know if you plan on purchasing items from the semi-annual sale at bath and body works too let me know if you have uh, a collection as well and what your, some of your favorites are. I would like to know all of that in the comments down below. Um, please let me know also if you enjoyed this video and what I had to share with you all today. I'm super excited uh, for the semi-annual sale and I will definitely uh, be sharing with you all what I get. All right, so let's get excited and have fun and <laughs> get ready for this semi-annual sale all right everyone so i counted it up and i have 63 body mist and that's including the ones that i have double or triple up <laughs> and it's including my minis as well as that orange um ginger one so i have 63 mists and i have um nine of the creams lotions um either cream or lotion so i have nine of those i do plan on picking up more of the creams um or lotions in the sense that i really really like and uh, other than that i'll just make sure i have a basic scent so like um probably a vanilla one i'd like to have um maybe something in the strawberry family or something like that uh, maybe something like tropical and um maybe something um, like a fruity floral or something like that and i definitely need my ice lemon pound cake <laughs> so i'm hoping to pick up all of those um items that i'm looking for as well as a lot of the new items they have coming out i definitely um want to pick up some of the new items as well i they're all new to me so i know some of them are coming back from previous years but I haven't experienced those because I just started um, shopping with them a year ago. And some of them I even missed out on. Um, but I am definitely going to go in store and try them all out and um, purchase the ones that I really, really like. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, giving this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all in the next one.